Hi, I'm James Fernley. Ah, there I am, coming over the bridge. Yeah, I live just outside Whitby in a village called Gothland, where I'm hoping to build the Apocytical Research Centre, which we hope is going to be a, a centre of excellence for apocytical medicines, medicines from the beehive. One of the most important things that I manufacture is a, is a natural medicine called propolis. Propolis is produced by bees and it's converted inside the hive into the bees immune system and I believe it's probably one of the most potent natural medicines that exists and it's entirely different from pharmaceutical medicines. What propolis does is stimulates your body to do what it does naturally. <clears throat> in terms of things that I've done, I graduated in law, I went on to study African law and anthropology, and then that was in 1968 and there was the revolution, so that was far more interesting than any kind of employment could possibly be. Then there was the seminal event of reading a book called Walden Pond. This is a book about a man who decides to go and live entirely on his own in the countryside uh, both my wife and I read this book, and after reading it, we decided that's exactly what we were going to do. So we, we left for the countryside. Eventually, uh, the, I found a potter in the village who wanted a bit of help, so I went and helped him. And amazingly, uh, I found that I could do this quite well. At the weekends we'd all pile into our uh, single-decker bus, drive off to uh, a show somewhere and, and sell the pots that we made during the week. And for something like eight or nine years, ended up being a potter. Then came the moment when we had to sort of leave uh, East Anglia because we wanted our children, the older children, to go to, to uh, Waldorf School. So we came up, up to North Yorkshire and uh, opened a health food shop. So that's what we did. Well, it, it's, funny how things, it's funny how things happen because um, uh, one day I had a visit from a, a beekeeper who uh, was trying to sell, sell me his honey. I thought, yeah, we'll have some honey, but it's a natural food store. So, but, but we got into conversation and he started telling me about this product called propolis, which is, it's the, this is a resin which bees collect from trees and plants and they take it back to the hive. And basically they use it as their immune system. And he said, oh yeah, this is a really interesting product. And I thought, oh yes, it does sound very interesting. So I had a bit of a look at it and um, looked at all the research about it. And I thought, this is, the, this is potentially an amazing substance. And then after about six months, I got a telephone call from, from a journalist who we'd been supplying these products to. And he said, this is amazing stuff. He said, um, he said what is it? He said, because, the, because today I've been out on my bike and for the first time, he was an asthmatic, for the first time he said, my legs gave way before my lungs. I'd really like to know more about this. And six months later, there appeared in the Sun newspaper a full page piece about propolis. And at the bottom of it, it was our telephone number. Suddenly we had a major business on our hands. So year one of that little business, which was meant to be a kind of a sideline, I think sold maybe 40,000 pounds in the first year. And in the second year sold 1.5 million pounds. It simply transformed all our lives. 
And sometimes I have to think, well, why did that happen? But those sorts of numbers do seem to have a certain effect on people. And my partner, we'd also taken on another partner, I think decided that it would be much more convenient if they could split the money between two rather than three, you see. Cutting a long story short, they decided that uh, I'd be best out of the way, so they kicked me out. For four years, I ended up sort of fighting them through the courts. My accountants, when it came to the to divvying up what they thought my shares were worth, said that my shares were worth £15 million. Pounds. And I ended up with virtually nothing. So uh, that was a bit disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> but you just have to sort of get up and, and, and start again, which is what I did. This is where we've all ended up in 2011. And we make natural medicines here, hundreds of natural medicines. In fact, I think we've got something like 2,500 different natural medicine products that we produce here. And that's basically in two different sections. The first section are the products that we've been talking a lot about today and that is products produced from this bee product called Propolis. A big part of our business as well as uh, the medicines from bee products is medicines from herbs, from plants. Let's go and have a look and see how we actually make the products. Anybody who comes here, they can, all look, they can look through this window and they can see into the space where we actually do make them. And that's another important, it's a bit like the restaurants where you can see people cooking. You know, you can see the food being prepared. Well, if they come here, they can see the medicines being prepared. So that it kind of demystifies the whole process. The consumer wants to know that these products are produced in a pharmaceutical way. And they want to know whether it works and we're here to sort of to tell them it does most herbs are like foods they are nearer to foods than they are to those dangerous pharmaceutical synthetic compounds that uh, that make up pharmaceuticals but they're all products that have been used for a long time and if you like their safety record is 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 written in the fact that people have been using them for hundreds of years and they haven't all died off it's not complicated. I think probably within the, the next six months we'll get a yay or nay about whether we can go ahead and I think it will definitely, I think it will be yes. Then there'll just be the small problem of finding probably somewhere in the region of two to three hundred thousand pounds to, to build it. We're hoping that the Epicidical Centre will be built more or less on this site here. Down here, this is going to, it's going to be on two levels. Down here, the lower level will effectively will be underground, thus sort of minimizing the impact of the building. And down there, we'll have things like a laboratory, uh, a apicetical research laboratory, and, uh, and uh, apitherapy clinics. And then on the higher level, which is going to cover this area up on the top here, there'll be the, the main entrance, conference center, exhibition, more clinic spaces and uh, an opportunity to tell people about both apicetical medicine and sustainable beekeeping. If we can get our message over about, about the importance of this as a centre for, kind of, for information and research and knowledge about these things, then um, I frankly don't think we'll have any problem finding the money at all but I may be wrong. <laughs>